it starts with a simple couple. This couple had been together a long time, like five or, or six years. They live together and have no surface issues. Though they have lost the spark that they once had. They still enjoy each other's company. They're content together. But the boyfriend starts to change. He becomes more affectionate. He brings her flowers. He readily tells her that he loves her. I love you. I love you too. He just completely changes his whole personality. And that was for the better. It really messes with her. She doesn't know who her boyfriend is anymore. She's so confused, she wants to know what has changed him. This is what hooks the audience, as they are dying to know too. Well? Well what? Well, why has he changed? Oh. I haven't quite thought of a reason why yet. Maybe he's discovered he has a terminal disease. Only five months? Or maybe he gets chlamydia. Which he got from another woman, which causes his guilt. Or what if he got possessed by an alien being? An alien being that wants to learn about human affection. So he steals a host body and tries to mimic his relationship. Or the alien is chlamydia? Evolved chlamydia. I was just thinking, what if, what if we did something more, more actiony, like a, like an average Joe businessman, John Allen, is walking to work one day, and he walks past a green phone. Hello, who is this? It's a terrorist who's inside his son's school. Hello, John. I'm at your son's school. I've got enough explosives to blow him in all his school jumps sky high. And what do you think the terrorist wants him to do? Kill the person. I think the person on the phone should be someone he knows. Yeah, like his mum. Mum, is that you? And she's been dead for 10 years. But he died. Yes, John, it's me! I need you to kill the president! Okay, hold on. Why would his mum want him to kill the president? Maybe it's her ex-lover who killed her and faked her suicide. I honestly think we should make like a noir film. We can make it really cool and stylistic. Nighttime, the streets of LA, an awesome black and white filter and suspicious jazz music plays. Two detectives are standing over a corpse, a guy and a girl. The guy puffs on his cigarette and says, Third one this week. Can't be a coincidence. Gotta follow the trail. I don't know. It's just so generic. It's been done so many times before. What if we set it up as a standard noir detective film and add in a twist? So the guy turns to him and says, Vampire hunter protected. And that's what you think of first. They think of vampire protected. I don't think we'd have the budget for that. Shall we go for more coffee? It's alright, Sven. We'll get there eventually. I love it. <laughs>